Hi, I'm Nick Gillespie with Reason TV, and today we're talking with Emily Eakin. She's polling director at Reason Foundation, and she runs the Reason Root Poll, a quarterly survey of what's going on in America. Emily, thanks for talking. Thanks for having me. In the latest uh, poll, we'll run through a bunch of the results and talk about a couple in uh, detail, but uh, the budget, you found that most Americans want the government to spend less than they did last year. Yes, and this is really interesting given that the proposal for next year is to spend more than we spent last year, and that's why we asked them, and a majority of Americans want the federal budget to spend less next year than it did this year. Uh, for health care, you found that most Americans dislike the health care law that's going to go into effect in January 1st, 2014. Yes, we asked this question a little bit uh, differently than most. We asked people, uh, did you like the health care when it passed, but then change your mind? Did you like it and you still like it? Did you dislike it when it passed and you still dislike it? Or did you dislike it then and you changed your mind? Most people say that they dislike the law and most people didn't change their mind. Hmm. Uh, with gun control, uh, gun control was a huge issue uh, after the Newtown shooting last uh, December. The Senate tried to pass a gun control law. It didn't happen. What, are, what were people saying about uh, gun control? Yeah, we wanted to ask about that um, because before the debate, um, there were polls out showing that 90% of Americans favored background checks for, uh, for gun purchases. And so when the Senate voted down the legislation, people assumed people would be up in arms about it. We found out that that's not true. We asked Americans if they wanted the Senate to go back, debate, and vote on gun control again, or if they wanted the Senate to move on. 62% said they wanted the Senate to move on. Uh, Social Security was one of the featured uh, topics in this version of the poll. You found that most people have a favorable view of Social Security? Yes, uh, most people do have a favorable view of Social Security. They also seem to view Social Security as a retirement fund, which they're paying into throughout, throughout their whole lives, that will finance their retirement later on. Um, only about a third of Americans see it as a transfer program where you're paying for the benefits of current seniors. Right, which is a more accurate understanding of which the program. Is, yes. Now, uh, Social Security is often called, or it was originally called the third rail of American politics. Elected officials and people running for office never wanted to talk about it uh, because to even suggest changing it would mean you would never get elected, uh, which is part of the reason why it's going to go broke in 2033. What did you find uh, when, when are people willing to talk about entitlement reform for Social Security? So most polls keep showing us that people are uh, very opposed to any change to entitlements. What we did is we uh, set up a series of trade-off questions, almost like a conversation, where we uh, gave people information about the current uh, financial situation of social, social Security, where they learned that they wouldn't get back as much as they put in. Um, once people learn those things, they actually are open to reform, but there's no consensus. And I think what's happening is that we're not talking about it. People are unaware of what's going on. And as a result, that's why they seem unwilling to change a program they don't know is flawed. Uh, one of the other things that the Reason Root Poll does that's very unique and different and, and of particular interest to people who read Reason is that you track libertarian sentiment among the population. Explain how you get to that, uh, you know, how you measure that, and then where are we in terms of how many libertarian-leaning voters are there in America? Yes, so we asked three questions on every survey. We've been doing this since 2011. Uh, the three questions basically gauge attitudes towards the proper role of government in economic affairs and social affairs. We use those questions to determine those who want more government or less government in, in social affairs and those who want more or less in economic affairs. And that creates about four groups as well as kind of those in the middle that aren't really consistent in how they answer those questions. And when you do that, you find about 20% or so of Americans provide a, a more libertarian response to questions about government's involvement in our social lives and our economic lives. Uh, and then finally, just uh, explain very quickly the methodology of the poll. This is a national survey and it's, you know, it isn't reason readers, it's actually a really uh, good cross-section of how people are thinking. Yes, this is a national survey. We call a thousand adults on landlines and cell phones. It's actually 50% landline, 50% cell phone. All right, well, great. Emily Eakins, thank you for talking to Reason TV. She's the director of the Reason Root Poll at Reason Foundation. Thanks very much. Thanks.